America, you fucking idiots. So I'm waking up to what looks like a diabolical election result in Britain in the morning, having my breakfast, and I guess I want to say that liberal America, this is your fault. Yeah, I know you don't like blame or responsibility, that's part of the problem, but uh, you created Trump, and the rest of the whole world is going to have to deal with what you've created. Um, you've created Trump, I think, for really for three reasons, for three reasons. Um, the first is working class white men, myself, the ones that vote for Trump in America, we feel alienated feel pissed off with you guys. We feel pissed off that we have to have, you know, I was literally told on a forum yesterday, go study sociology. I was told that hardships in my own life don't count. I was told by a, you know, middle class black girl and a probably very middle class gay girl that uh, I had no problems in my life. I should fuck off. Didn't have an opinion. This is on a thread that was called Dear White, dear, uh, white Straight Men. Yeah, so I dared respond to that and was told not to have an opinion. Um, this, this PC thing, there's going to be a backlash against that, you know? Confusing um, knowing the right words with, with being a good person. Complete madness. Mm. Second thing, political action. That's been thrown out the window. There's, there's no politics anymore. People like me, you know, I, I consider myself a liberal part of this problem I'm talking about. Here I am, I'm having my uh, smoothie, my Nutribullet. My fair trade coffee, did yoga last night, planning my next holiday somewhere exotic, some exotic third world country, focusing on this, on this bullshit, yeah, on all this bullshit, this middle class bullshit, no politics, and the powers that be are focusing on politics, you know, it's not power, it's, uh, it's masturbation, just the second reason, third thing, the shadow. Like, what is it liberal America denies? What is it you guys deny liberal America? Power, sex, money. What does Trump represent? All of that. He's like your nightmare. He's like the part of you that you push down and hide and that comes back up. Made flesh, right? Made flesh. No ignoring it now, you know? I put just something, this opinion I just put on a Facebook thread before I made the video and Americans are responding angry. Don't blame us. Yeah, responsibility. That's part of the problem. You won't fucking accept it. How dare you judge? You should be empathic at a time like this. Get over yourself. You know, you've got weak. Liberal America, you are weak. You are really weak. It is sensitive and it's weak. Uh, that sense of what you call sensitivity, it's just bad self-regulation. That's all it is. Don't be so nasty. Blame us. Yeah, I'm blaming you. Blaming you. I'm blaming myself too. I'm part of that. I'm part of that liberal American culture that runs the world. We're all going to suffer this. We're all going to suffer as a result of Trump. So what's the biggest cause of Trump? Before you start whining, sitting together, demanding a safe space, crying together. You are. Globally, we are. It's liberal culture. This culture of uh, sensitivity, political correctness, of uh, personal growth rather than political action, spiritual industrial complex, I call it. We're all part of that. I'm on my way to work now. I'm going to go teach uh, stress management to a charity. Because, you know, the problem's not capitalism, right? The problem's not the system, the problem's our own psychology. Yeah, well, nothing wrong with doing stress management with a charity. It's going to be a good day's work, but. In the bigger picture, stress management, you know, I'm gonna go do my meditation. Then some people are gonna get upset with me online because despite the fact that you know, I support gay rights group in Moscow, despite the fact that I've said I was a feminist my whole life, people are gonna say I don't use the right words. Fuck off. People are gonna say I don't have an opinion because I'm a white straight man. Fuck off. You know, I'm married to a bisexual Ukrainian. Nothing but love for that. So yeah, this is some tough love, America. Liberal America, some tough love. Go fucking eat your kale, cry into your organic muesli, and then wake up.